Good morning. Now, last week I read the promise that we would see true justice when the kingdom came. Now, Watchtower's idea is that their elders are going to go through Armageddon and they will take control in this new world and they're going to take their judicial system with them. Now, if that's true, a lot of us wouldn't want to be there. So, is Watchtower's judicial system in accordance with God's true justice? And no, it's not. I'll explain how. In Ezekiel 44 and verse 24, God said to the priests that they were to be judges in disputes. They must judge in the spirit of my statutes. So how do we know the spirit of God's justice? Well, in Proverbs chapter 2 and chapter 4, it says that we need wisdom, clear perception, discernment, understanding, insight. In other words, you need a little bit of intelligence and the ability to think logically. Now, Watchtower has taken this ability away from their elders by giving them rules to govern every situation. So, what are the principles of God's justice. We'll start off in Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 17, where judges were told, and this is incorporated in modern legal systems, judges must give your brothers a fair hearing and see justice done. You must be impartial in judgment and give an equal hearing to small and great alike. Judges were not to accept bribes, they were to hear both sides. Now Nicodemus said something similar in John chapter 7 and verses 50 and 51. He was in the Sanhedrin and they were discussing the accusations against Jesus Christ and Nicodemus said this, but surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about. In other words, to be impartial in judgment, you must hear both sides, no matter how convincing one side is. So, why does then Watchtower get everything wrong? Well, in Deuteronomy 19 and verse 15, they've taken this one sentence and they've built it up with a lot of man-made rules into a judicial system and it says this a single witness cannot suffice to convict a man of a crime the evidence of two witnesses or three is required to sustain the charge now this is a very good rule despite all the criticism laid against it but you need to look into it carefully to understand all the ramifications of this two witness rule and Jesus has explained it very well in John chapter 8 and he says in verse 17 in your law that's in the Jewish law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid I that's Jesus may be testifying on my own behalf but the father who sent me is my witness too Now, God was not going to come down to earth in person and be an eyewitness for the Sanhedrin. So, in what way was God a witness? Well, in John chapter 10 and verse 25, Jesus qualifies it by saying this, The works I do in my Father's name are my witness. In other words, evidence was to be taken as a witness and you were supposed to use common sense. Now, there were many laws in the uh, Jewish law to talk about abuse and those sort of things. There were never two eyewitnesses to many of these things, but there was always evidence and judges could tell by the attitude of the person who'd been hurt as to whether it was true or not. They had to be careful, because as it says in Deuteronomy 13 and verse 14, it's your duty to look into the matter, examine it and inquire most carefully. Now, if all you need is two eyewitnesses, why is there a need to inquire most carefully? 
Well, Deuteronomy goes on in uh, chapter 19. It says, if a malicious witness appears, the judges must make a careful inquiry. And if it turns out that the witness who accused his brother is a lying witness, you must deal with him as he would have dealt with his brother. Now, this is what Watchtower does not understand. You cannot just have two witnesses. You have to examine whether those two witnesses have actually got their case correct. And the only way you can do that is by going to the accused person and checking it. And that's what you're supposed to do. But Watchtower thinks they know better. They think they know better than God. And they don't and because of that, they are heaping up problems for themselves. They are going to be accountable for all the harm they have done for not understanding God's justice properly. So we will have true justice and it will be based on God's justice, not watchtowers. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to leave a little bit of encouragement below that we stay close to God even if we lose watch tab. Thanks very much.